There's a saying that UD techs were a jack of all trades, but we are a masters of demolition. Blowing stuff up, that's the creme de la creme of, of being an UD tech. There are likely over 100 million unexploded bombs scattered across the globe. Every day, U.S. Air Force members are putting themselves in harm's way, working to disarm, disable, and dismantle them. Absolutely, it's a scary mission. These devices can explode at any time. The servicemen and women who use our robots are always putting their life on the line. Every single step, you're thinking, is there something else I could be doing? Is there something else that I should do? Is this the best choice? These bombs could explode at any moment, hurting or killing anyone around. The only thing the suit's gonna do is just keep the pieces together. Start remote, stay remote is one of our big mantras. At Endeavor Robotics, they build robots that allow servicemen and women to do just that. Their bots let military personnel dismantle bombs remotely instead of having to go in themselves. We want to remove folks from harm's way. We take this job very seriously as robot designers and as human beings to make sure that we're really helping personnel avoid those dangerous situations. The robot goes downrange to interact with the device and the operator can do that from a safe distance away. We want to give them the best technology that we can, the most cutting edge technology. Our robots are equipped with a manipulator that allows the operator to interrogate a device, move it, open it up, and look inside. It's a lot of fun, honestly. You get to drive around this robot and go do all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, if a robot is equipped with a disruptor, then it's able to fire the disruptor and neutralize the device. They can shoot out a water shot and destroy the suspicious object. Our robots contain a variety of different technology. They're packed with computers that can run sophisticated algorithms so that they can navigate it autonomously. They can build their own maps. They can do object recognition through their cameras. They can detect radiation and toxic gases. These robots are incredibly high tech, but it wasn't always this way. When it started out, we had a 700 pound, that looked like a tank, rumbling down the road. So whereas now we have robots that are small enough we can throw in a backpack and just go. Our first look robot is a five pound throwable robot. So you can imagine a, um, a scenario where uh, we've got troops coming up to a structure. Well, we don't know what's in that structure and we want to avoid putting our servicemen and women in harm's way. And you do that by just throwing the first look you know, through a window or an opening and then letting the robot be the first set of eyes inside the building. Small robots serve their purpose, but sometimes bigger robots are the only way to get the job done. Every situation is a little bit different. Sometimes you need a big robot to go interrogate a vehicle because you think there might be a vehicle-based IED. Is that car uh, laden with uh, explosives? You might have to tear open the trunk. You might have to smash through the window or tear open the door to figure out if, in fact, that car is a threat. Whether they're five or 500 pounds, robots of all sizes are crucial players in military tactics. Robots can never replace a person. The robots will really allow personnel to focus on their jobs while you know removing the really dull, dirty, and dangerous jobs right? and letting the robots do that. It's not just your life that depends on it, it's the life of your brother standing next to you. It's absolutely critical that we employ the best technology, the best robotic technology to keep our Air Force personnel safe, We're handling dangerous devices, and this is the type of technology that can keep them out of harm's way. Everyone here at Endeavor Robotics is proud to be helping our servicemen and women with their jobs and to help bring them home safely. Even on those tough days, we're like, hey, at the end of the day, we're, we're supplying robots that will help save a person's life, and that's worth it. This episode was presented by the U.S. Air Force. Learn more at airforce.com. For more episodes of Science in the Extremes, check out this one right here. Don't forget to subscribe and come back to Seeker for more episodes.